I'm Rodney Miller. And I'm Jan Carl. Thanks for choosing to watch this clip from our Small Town Big Deal YouTube channel. For full episodes, go to our website, smalltownbigdeal.com. Now, enjoy the video. The Round Top Antique Show experience is not complete unless you've stopped at Royer's Round Top Cafe. But don't let the word cafe or the decor fool you. They serve more than just your typical diner fare. We're talking fresh seafood and top quality Angus beef. It all started with Mr. Royer himself. He's known in these parts as the pie man. We asked him how he got roped into taking this Texas-sized leap of faith and become a restaurateur. Basically, the owners who were, said, look, we want to get out of this, long story short, and said, here, you take over the bank payment, and they put $200 in the till. Never cooked before. So you're a little crazy. Yeah, but yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Back in the 80s, Bud said he was broke, living in Houston with his wife and four kids but he took a chance to help his family. That's the American dream in a nutshell. I mean, he saw an opportunity, worked really hard, and made it successful. Bud might be famous for his fabulous pies, but over the years, he's added to the menu. We've been to a lot of cool yeah. little restaurants across America. This one is yeah. really unique. Yeah. You walk in here, the last thing you expect in a town of 90 people is to sit down and be served a rack of lamb, fresh oysters, 50 wines on the wine list. Even when the antique show isn't going on, Royer's Cafe does a rip-roaring business. Bud and his family have created a unique dining experience in the tiniest of towns. Now, while Royer's has been making pies since 1987, the history dates back to ancient Egyptians who created a pastry filled with dates and honey. It was the pilgrims and early settlers who brought their fruit pie recipes with them to America and it's been a love affair ever since. Well, we had to know Royer's pie baking secrets, and lucky for us, they were willing to show us how they made one of their most popular pies, the Texas Trash Pie. Yep, you heard correctly, Texas Trash. So do you think you can teach us to make some pie? Absolutely, it's pretty simple, so we can do it. <laughs> it doesn't wait, wait, look wait. simple. I don't know, Jake, but I, I could probably make bad pie. The thing about it is the start of a good pie is your pie crust. So. I know, that's the hard part. If he can do it, you can do it. Good you pie. promise? Yeah, I promise. Put this in. Yes. <laughs> the way, you're going to get to use your hands. You, you won't wash your hands after. Yes, he's that's a beautiful part. He's looking for a spoon. He's looking Perfect. for a spoon. No, no. My mom and sister made all the pies when I was growing up. But for the record, I grew up on a farm, so I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. So you guys will ship anywhere in the country? Absolutely. Anywhere that a pie can be delivered, pretty much. And then we started shipping to soldiers in Afghanistan, Iraq, and across the world. Oh my gosh. So they get a real taste of home. I mean... Yes. Now, this is Rodney's first time making a pie crust, and he started to get the hang of it. And that was until it was time to roll out the dough. Do you have oblong pie pans? I think he needs an oblong pie pan. Give me a wrench and a broken down vintage tractor and I'll have it running in a day. But give me a rolling pan? Well, the proof will be in the pudding. Maybe I mean the pie. To find out how to make your own Texas trash pie, just go to our website and check out our blog. And we'd love to see a picture of it after you bake it. So post it on our Facebook page. We got to get a close up of, of this. Oh, ah! <laughs> That's a really great this first really try. I'm going to throw JB slightly under the bus. That's mine and JB's. Yes, yes. <laughs> After my attempt at pie making, JB opened up about how much he appreciates his father Bud and how him taking a chance on the Round Top Cafe changed the lives of their entire family. You didn't ever get anything for Christmas, so same meals every day, eggs and potatoes. We had nothing but we knew no better. And uh, Dad taking this over gave each of his kids, and now his grandkids, an opportunity for a better um, a better life. Then after adding all of the ingredients and letting it bake, it was time for the true test, a taste test. Look what we have! Distinctively JB's in mind. No, it's distinctively yeah, yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now we gotta try it. You ready for the taste test? Yeah, let's taste all right, it. Okay. So perfect. All right. All right. Dig in. Woo! Oh my gosh. You did Whoa. good. Just like a professional made it. You did real good. Now the Royer's family talent for making pies isn't just reserved for the men. Bud's daughter Tara, known as the Pie Queen, bakes up a mean pie herself. Her cozy coffee and pie shop called Pie Haven 
is nothing short of heaven. Tara whipped up her special pie shake, which consists of actually blending an entire slice of pie into the concoction. Bud's chocolate chip pie shake. That's a good way to eat pie, I tell you. <laughs> Who knew? You could drink pie. Okay, if you know me, you know my motto. You can never have too much pie. I'm never leaving this town. Brown's that's a pretty magical place. Everyone keeps we, using yeah, that word. Yeah, we keep hearing that word. Yeah. yeah, we keep hearing magical. Why do you think it's magical? I just think it's really the people that yeah. come here, and then people just want to come be a part of all of that and experience it. Thanks for watching this clip from Small Town Big Deal. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and be sure to click the bell so you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Also, click the like button. To see full episodes, go to www.smalltownbigdeal.com.